Hi plant queens, welcome to part 2 of my house plant tour. I'm Sab if we've never met before and this is my channel where I talk about my plants mostly in passive hydroponics. So if you haven't seen part 1, I will link it up here in the cards. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. Now we move on to my baskets or my plant wall that you see when I take my videos. Let's start with this one. This is my philodendron squamiferum. This is multiple plants in one pot because I did chop it up and kind of chucked it in together. This is the leaf that it came with. Uh, I think I traded this with a friend of mine. And now it's coming out with all of this new growth as new growth. And of course, the best part about these plants, aside from their shape, are their petioles because of how fuzzy they are. So that's super cute. Down here is my Monstera Peru, which I just repotted last night, and she's looking beautiful. This started out with three leaves, and I think it's been over half a year that I've had it, so it's not the fastest grower, but sorry about the cat hair on the leaves, but it's a gorgeous plant. Next to it is an Alocasia heterophylla, I think. I'm not sure of the specific species because I think this was probably open air pollinated, so it could be a combination of anything. But whatever it is, it's really, really pretty. I mean, the silver hues are just so unique and I really like it. Next to it is a Philodendron Mayuai. There. And it's so cute, it wasn't getting the splits yet, and then this is the new leaf. And the newest leaf has all of these gorgeous splits, and it hasn't fully hardened off. And oh, there's another one coming out right there. So up here, of course, my big Anthurium crystallinum. And this leaf has been hardening off for so long, it's not even done yet. And it's got a new one on the way back there. She's just so gorgeous and yeah, <laughs> she's huge. Next to it is my neon heartleaf philodendron heteracium. Uh, yeah, I love this plant because the new growth comes out kind of limey and then fades back to a more uh, dull neon. Up here is a plant I got just today, so it's still in soil, and I actually took a cutting of it already for insurance. But this is a philodendron painted lady, and I didn't actually want this plant until I saw it in person and realized how gorgeous the leaves are, and also the stems when they're kind of new. I don't think you can see it here, but the stems on new growth are kind of pink, pinkish red. So yeah, it's a really gorgeous plant. I think it's underrated. I don't see it so often on Instagram. And then we move on here. This is my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen. So I heard someone on YouTube saying you can tell the difference between a queen and a princess because the queen wears her variegation like a crown so it's on the outside i don't know if that makes sense but yeah she's so easy she came out with this all white leaf which is great but don't keep doing that because you need chlorophyll next to it is my um, skindapsis pictus exotica which i finally got the hang of in like growing in leka i'll put a video up in the cards because I did mention before that this is a tricky plant to grow in Lekka but not anymore <laughs> I've got the hang of it and tucked behind here is my trailing philodendron micans this was longer like it reached up to here but I took a bunch of cuttings to propagate and I think this might be one of my most favorite trailing house plants because just look at that look at how velvety that is and it's just such a fast grower Next to it is my Syngonium Wendlandii, which I'm not sure I can show you how velvety it is. It's beautiful and velvety. When you touch it, it kind of feels like the Mycans. Yeah, actually it feels exactly like the Mycans. So if you're into Syngoniums, then you definitely need to add this one to your collection. Moving on, up here is my Philodendron 
burl marks which is just getting huge i've had to put this in this giant cup <laughs> because i had to upgrade it from one of these smaller jars and i really love this plant because it grows so fast but also i'm kind of running out of space for this so you might not see him next time next to it is just a dwarf snake plant sansevieria just happily living its life in a dark corner up here is another snake plant not sure what it's called next to it is a spider plant and kind of covered by that is an aglaonema not sure not sure what this aglaonema is called i did have its id before but i lost it so if anyone knows please let me know in the comments what that one is called um now i think we'll start with the these ones and my tiny terrarium before moving on to the hanging plants so out here we have my alocasia um green shield or clipulata i forgot what it's called kind of exiling it here because it did have a bunch of spider mites um those might be spider mites still <laughs> i'm not sure probably just dirt i'll have to check later but yeah, it has new growth, so I might even just chop these two up. And here is one of my favorite houseplants that I don't think gets enough press. This is my Tradescantia salmonellica, something like that, variegata. And look at how cute these leaves are. They're, they're so fuzzy. And this grows really, really fast. And it's so cute. Like, it, it's, it's just adorable. I don't know what to say. Everyone should have this plant. Now let's move on to my very foggy terrarium. Let me just lift this. This used to like close and open, but now it kind of broke. <laughs> now I can just lift it off of the top. Put that aside. So here is a juvenile philodendron skeleton key. I'll put up a photo of what the mature form is supposed to look like. Next to it is a juvenile philodendron varicosum, which you will not be seeing anymore because I recently traded it for some other plants. Here is a Calicia, no not Calicia, Apilea, Pilea repens. Very gorgeous plant. Don't see this a lot again on Instagram or on videos. Next to it is a string of hearts that I'm just growing in soil because I didn't know you could grow a string of hearts in Lekka, but apparently you can, so I might transfer that over. Over here is a plant I am soon giving up on. This is a string of turtles, and we have been through a lot. <laughs> I just don't want to talk about her. Next to it is this jewel orchid, kind of covered by this. So I'll put the specific name up on the screen, but that's my only jewel orchid at the moment. Back here is a cutting of my Hoya Parasitica Heart Leaf Splash. You'll see the mother plant later. This is an alocasia, um, some kind of alocasia gifted to me by a friend as uh, seeds, so I'm very happy to have grown it out like this. This is my Hoya Hishkiliana Variegata. This is definitely my favorite Hoya, no question about that. And right in front of it is my Hoya. Kentiana Vargada. So that's the small terrarium. It's right by the window so it gets pretty direct light in the afternoon. So all of the plants seem to be okay with it. Oops. And he is stepping on the glass. <laughs> Sleepy. I'm kind of busy at the moment. Can you please move away? Thank you. All right. We won't get into the plants outside because those are just my soil propagations for things I want to trade and such. So up here, we have my Hoya, oh not a Hoya, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting tired, uh, my Oxalis, um, and it gives me these gorgeous flowers. I'm trying to see if I can find one for you here. Here we go. And I always pick these flowers and give them to my boyfriend in the mornings because there always seems to be... A flower on this one. This is definitely one of my favorite common house plants. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit funny because it is trying to reach for the light, but from underneath, it looks pretty cute. Next to it is a Hoya Comingiana. 
So this Hoya kind of has a, I'm so sorry for the backlight. But this Hoya has a unique growth pattern and that it grows very different from the other Hoyas. So I did put it in a hanging macrame thing so I can appreciate how it dangles down. And here is my Marble Queen photos, which I started from just a few cuttings and it's now starting to trail so I'm really happy about that. Now here is my, sorry my other Hoyas are trying to reach for the camera. Here is my Hoya Sigillatis. Let me twist it for you so you can see the front. So I really love this Hoya because of how splashy it is. And next to it, here's the mother plant of that parasitica that I showed you. So this is a very, very splashy Hoya and a really fast grower once it takes off. It kind of takes a while to get going, but it grows a lot once it does. Down here is my Hoya Optimistic. I bought this plant just because it's called Hoya Optimistic <laughs> and also because it has really fuzzy leaves and I, I love fuzzy leaves on Hoyas. Next to it is my Hoya Obovara, just the regular one. Here is a cutting of my Sissus. This color, which is just gorgeous. You will see the main plant later. And here is some Selaginella peacock moss that I'm trying out in Lekka. I do have a bigger pot in the restroom. Here is uh, an air plant. Um, I think it's called like a medusa or something like that. And here I have like a little shelf of plants. So let's start up here. This is my Philodendron Brazil. Next to it is my Scandapsis Pictus Silvery Anne, which is just starting to take off. Here is my Neon Pothos. Down here we have an Amidrium Zippolanum, Zippolanium, something like that. And it's got some new growth coming in. This is actually an Oxalis. I will show you some of the cuttings I took of it. But I didn't like the way it was growing and it was infested with spider mites. So I did just cut it back completely. <laughs> I tend to do that when a plant is infested with pests. Here is my um, lipstick plant, the black dragon one. Oh, black pagoda. Here's my black pagoda lipstick plant. You should have seen this in a recent haul. And then moving on down here, this is what this looks like. This is my Philodendron Gloriosum Dark Form, which I recently got and I'm very much in love with because of how gorgeous those leaves are. Here are just some cuttings of the Silvery Anne that I'm propagating. Just more cutting of that Cissus and the Peperomia. Here's a cutting of that um, Merillii, some Croniana cuttings. And this is what the <laughs> Oxalis Iron Cross above is supposed to look like. But I cut it up, I chopped it up. Back here is my Rubber Tree Taniki, Ficus Elastica Taniki. Very beautiful plant, one of my first house plants. And that one died, so I had to get another one. And here she is. Here is my um, Oxalis Rubra. This is known as the Fire Fern. Very beautiful plant. Here is a begonia that I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> I just got this from one of my dad's plants in the province. So if anyone knows the ID, please let me know. And next to it is a bunch of cuttings. This is a no ID begonia again. And some more of those Oxalis Iron Cross cuttings. Here is my Monstera Adansoniae. Yeah that it's not doing the best. Um, I struggle with this plant. I'm not sure why. <laughs> if anyone else has the same experience, do let me know in the comments. This is my Alocasia Mickey Mouse. No, this is a Santhosoma, I think. I'll put the name on the screen. My Santhosoma Mickey Mouse. This leaf is struggling because I discovered root rot on it last night and I had to treat it. So 
this one's probably gonna go here's my collection of little bug plants I got this from my best friend for my birthday and <laughs> they're just adorable the tops just growing in pumice and there's a little bit of a reservoir if you want a um, video on how to take care of succulents and cacti and leka let me know here's my makeshift terrarium it's a it's actually an apple pie container that i used as a terrarium and in it is some uh, Palea Kadiri cuttings. This is a baby crystallinum. I kind of tried experimenting with the stem cutting and it worked. <laughs> Here is a Hoya Curtisii. Very gorgeous, tiny, splashy leaves. And here is a Hoya Carnosa Crinkulate. Next to it is my pretty new Hoya, oh not Hoya, sorry, <laughs> Syngonium Frosted Heart. Look at how beautiful that leaf is. Now, the new leaf is pretty beat up, probably from shipping, but it's pretty healthy and it should grow new gorgeous leaves in no time. And finally, from on this section is my Serographica. I got this from a co-worker last Christmas, which was really street sweet. <laughs> and I just love her. She kind of just sits there. Now we move on to the last section of my houseplant tour which is in the restroom and I recently just put up this shelf and I'm using just a Sansi grow light up there to give it light but let's start here by the window these are some cuttings of bifenifolium they're pretty beat up because I did um, transport them from the boat in the bus and because they were um, cuttings that were found like outdoors my dad's plant was outdoors so it was very exposed to the elements, but they're rooting up nicely in this big ice cream box. Here's what I was talking about. Uh, this is my Selaginella peacock moss fern kind of thing. My boyfriend really, really loves this plant. And uh, yeah, I kind of get it because of the beautiful blue hue that it has. Next to it is a uh, queen of the night cutting that I got in the trade in the trade and it's got some new growth and then on the very corner here is a uh, some kind of dischidia i I think it's a dischidia acuta something like that I'll put the name up on the screen it is in soil because I am planning on um, giving this to my dad or trading it for something else Now, let's start with these shelves. Let's start here at the bottom. Here is my Hoya Carnosa, just a regular green one. And it's got a bunch of new growth here. Next to it is my Syngonium Chia Pens. So the one you saw earlier, the Frosted Heart, it's pretty much the same as this, except that one has the white lines. But I think this has its own appeal, you know? It's such a beautiful plant and when you touch it, it feels matte almost back there is my alocasia bambino which is full of spider mite damage um this is one of those unfortunately that got victimized by a bunch of spider mites so we're kind of rehabbing him over here back here next to it is an alocasia Friedek, which is finally giving me some new growth because it is just a baby Back here is my Philodendron Silver Sword. Now, I know this is not a popular opinion, but I am not a fan of this plant. I'm not sure why. Maybe because I've been struggling with it and it hasn't given me new growth until now. But I'm kind of holding on to it because I do like the silver foliage. I'm just not a fan of, I don't know, maybe the growth pattern or the, sh the leaf shape. But we'll see in the future. Here's my Philodendron Sanadu Variegata. It's a very beautiful plant. This was on my wish list last year, so I'm very happy to have it. Next to it is my Hoya Pubicalix, putting out some new growth. Back here is a very sad cutting of my Philodendron Gloriosum dark form. I'm just trying to see if I can save it because, I don't know, I do want some ins an insurance 
plant for that one. Next to it is the bigger plant of the Hoya Merulii. Very fuzzy leaves, very similar to the Hoya Optimistic. And here is the main plant of the Sissus Discolor. It's a very fast growing plant. I got these as cuttings from a friend, probably three or four leaves, and now it has all of this growth and I've propagated a bunch from it. Now we move up here. This is my Hoya Croniana. I will be giving this plant away to a friend who I promised to make a Hoya starter pack for. Here's just a node of my Birkin that I'm trying to propagate. Next to it is this Hoya Elliptica. Very cute. Back here is a Hoya... I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a Merlii or something like that. Um, but yeah, I got this in the province for a very good price. Trying to see if I can sun stress it by putting it so close to the light. These are just some Mycans cuttings that I'm propagating and some Sissus cuttings. Up here is my Philodendron Florida Beauty variegated uh, cutting. And here is an oregano because I'm trying out herbs again. I wanted to start with this plant because of how fuzzy the leaves are. And so far it seems to be doing well, which I'm glad about. So we'll see how that goes. This is my uh, Syngonium Albo, which I am rehabbing in water because the leaves started developing these spots and I'm getting conflicting answers online about what they are. Some people are saying that they're normal um, and it'll grow on the white parts of the elbow but some people are saying that it's some kind of fungus. So just to be safe, I cut off the leaves that were full of the brown spots and I'm kind of observing it, keeping a close eye on it. Now and here is my Hoya Chalistophylla, which I've had for such a long time and it still has not done anything for me, but that's okay because look at how beautiful that foliage is. Next to it is my Hoya Lachinosa, very fast growing Hoya, definitely recommend this for beginners. Back here is my Hoya Daikie, one that is not for beginners. <laughs> Um, this is in Lek already and I'm still having problems with it, like it's getting yellow spots like that, not sure what's going on. But nonetheless, it is a very beautiful plant. Back there is a Hoya Alwitriana. This is a large leaf, like look at how big that is compared to my hand. I am giving this to a friend, uh, same friend I'm giving the Hoya starter pack to. And finally, last but not least, this is my Monstera Thigh Constellation. So here's, I'm gonna get her down here so you can get a better view. So here she is. She's really loving Lekka because she put out two new leaves in just, I think, two months that I've had her. So this is the newest leaf. And the one behind it is like the original leaf it came with. So yeah, I really, really love this plant. This is the original leaf it came with. And it seems to be doing really well and it's really happy with me, which I'm glad about. And that concludes the part two of my houseplant tour. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click one of the videos on the screen to watch some more of my content. And I'll see you next week. Bye!